Hello, this is Sele1 making a new video review, the Evangelion Evolution Provisional Unit 05 from Kaijoro, the Robotech Yamaguchi line. Um, this one is the last of the announced Evangelion Evolution figures. Uh, previously, this figure was released a couple of months ago instead of Mark VI. Uh, for known reasons, they changed the release date and switched the Mark VI to two months ago, and this one two months two months further. That is um, November fifteenth. Um, like all the other Evangelion Evolution figures, it comes with a nice illustration of the figure in a, some action pose, the side which contains all the information, a few illustrations on how to pose the figure and stuff, and the flip cover which uh, lets you see the figure inside of the package, and more things that come inside the package. This is the third time that Robotech releases this figure. Last time we saw it was in uh, the Robotech number 77, the movie color version of Evangelion Unit 5. Let's open it. Let's see what comes with it. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Here we have a um, rubber container, which is odd because there's no space to place it inside a blister. The Voltec base and well, this is the first time there is no publicity attached to it. Now, um, the figure comes with a lot of stuff that wasn't present in any of the previous releases of this EVA, so I'm going to show you bit by bit so that we can see them all. First, of course, the figure. Um, here we are. It comes with this blizzard, bl blizzard, bl right now, blizzard, blister in here. Comes with the two cloud hands and the open mouth head. So this is Eva Unit 5 Evolution outside of its package. Uh, I must say that I'm quite impressed with the number of details and little gimmicks that are in this figure. Um, I'm going to describe quickly the articulation that is in the figure. First of all, the tiny joints that were added on the base of the pantographs, I think they're called, that allows um, independent motion and uh, 360 degree spin on any direction. There is an articulation on the shoulder. One um, that allows a certain degree of independence of movement on the shoulder, on the blade of the, on the shoulder, like this. Um, I don't think that is a joint, but, and I don't really want to pull it to find it out. Um, the arm can move freely from the blade, like this, or you can move it, them all together. Uh, there is an articulation here on the elbow, one at the base of the claw, and the same up goes here on the lance. And the most important articulation here is the one seen in the middle of the figure that allows it to bend its back. The last EVA Unit 5 wasn't capable of doing this, it could only spin a bit. Uh, there is an articulation at the base and at the top of the neck. Mm -hmm. The last figure could not have its head removed to be replaced with a different one. Uh, this one can. Now, there are four articulations in here. Each moves the top of one of the legs. There is another articulation here that is n that is not a Robotech joint. It only allows 
movement up and down like this on each of the legs and here on the let's call them engines there is another Robotech joint that it's rather limited which is I think okay and another feature is the fact that now the engines can spin like this you see now um, unlike the last release there are two drills covered with little plastic caps on the base of the figure these are used in the movie to break the EVA break like in stop it <laughs> by the way um, this would actually dig into the ground to stop the, the EVA from moving uh, well from assisting it to change direction there are a lot of uh, gimmicks with this figure the first one I showed you already the plastic caps to cover the drills I'm going to start showing you what else comes with this figure first of all it's the berserk head of the EVA here it is we see it has the mouth open and there is this little orange detail here I think it's an explosion that happens when the EVA opens its mouth um, I didn't really see the point of adding it I think that just with the open mouth thing it was good enough so to change the head it's just like with every other figure you just pull out the head you don't want take the joint place the joint back and put this in the neck of the figure like this and there we are then we have, there it is now the EVA is enabled to open or close its claws but it does come with two pairs of claws one that is closed and one that is open to change them it's just like changing hands just take it out and place a new one uh, in theory the arm lens is held this way the claw is completely closed and stuffed in, in here in theory you, you would slide the, in, the entire lance out and the claw would be able to open since you can do that you have to take out the entire claw with the lance and place the claw that you want like this we have the comparison open and closed now there are two open and two closed claws so that you can pick uh, another interesting detail here is the 80 field piercing effect. You just slide it into the lens like this and it appears as if it's breaking the 80 field of the angel. It comes with a few joints that, as far as I can read Japanese, and I don't, from the package are spare joints for the figure oh no they aren't oh no I see these ones were these little articulations one yellow one green are meant to be used with the EVA when holding the spear so that it doesn't move and with the neck of the angel so that it doesn't move out of place hmm, this is interesting and quite a bit pointless if I may say and put this here in the little river container and there is this little thing here that it's actually the entry plug of the EVA so let's find out how this thing works you put this out and slide the escape entry plug in here oh, this is it there's not much to it, it's just a escape plane of EVA Unit 5 that it's used to take Mary out of the self-destructing EVA um, now the last uh, figure specific gimmick 
that comes with it it's this these are strictly speaking wheels for it you just have to pull out the these ones and slide the new ones in here uh, you just have to align all of the joints together so that you can slide the figure properly and make sure that all of the wheels are touching the ground like this uh, it's not just it's not that much of a gimmick actually I don't know who's going to be rolling around his Ever unit 5 like a Hot Wheels or something. Now the figure comes with this little gear that I'm not really sure where it goes. Um, the last figure also had one and I still haven't figured out what is it for. So I'm not, just, I'm not going to lie to you and just put it away. Now like every other Evangelion Evolution figure it comes with a little angel gimmick from an angel battle in this case third angel that already comes impaled in the ceiling pilar here um, the angel is uh, really well made I'm wondering many are wondering so why we don't have angel figures um, it comes with three little Robotech joints that allows the neck to move bit and that's it um, it comes with a little glowing core like the one that we see in EVA unit 2 and an interesting thing to note about the angel is that it comes with this like entry plug like device that many people is still debating about what is it now I'm going to show you a bit of a gimmick that comes within a gimmick Oh, oh, this is where I keep my figures, by the way. They're quite a bit. Uh, now, the this is my door. As we can see, there is a magnet on the back that allows the this thing to stick on metallic surfaces. So this part of the review is going to be focused on comparing the Evangelion Evolution version of the figure with the 2.0 mold of Evangelion Unit 5. More than anything I'm going to point out the things this figure doesn't have so that you can see the difference between the two. Number one, the articulations on the pantographs that allows, allows them to bend up and down. Here they are just little pegs. Next, the plane that can be detached with the separated entry plot. This one is just part of the sculpt of the figure. And it's rather, well, it looks off there. Um, the way the uh, arm moves, you cannot move it as far as you can in here. You can spin the arm entirely from the shoulder plate the articulation in the waist well lower chest here that you could just you could only spin it on this figure you can bend the back of the figure entirely the fact that you can move the lance independently from the rest of the arm like here that it you have to move the arm with the lens. The drill brakes on the base of the figure that are not present in here. The up and down articulation from the middle section of the leg. Here we have a Robotech joint and the spin spinning wheels all on the engines on the base of the figure that are static on this one. So so this is it for the review of Evangelion Unit 5. We can see here that I placed it on the door with the magnet that is attached to the back of the 
angel, it appears that it is capable of holding the entire figure. Only with this and this little joint. These two are the places that have all the stress of the weight. Um, overall, I think the figure is really well designed. From the tiny details on the legs to the sculpt of the head. Um, well, the paint details really could have been better and the escape plane looks a little off. I think the this figure really compensates for the lack of effort that was placed on the last release of Evangelion Unit 5. This is Sela 1 making a video review the Evangelion Evolution Unit 5 from Evangelion 2.0, the Revolt Tech version. Visit my blog evaposters.blogspot.com and thanks for watching. Yes, the figure is packaged in a ridiculously complicated way. I can't figure out how it was placed. I placed all of its little stuff in the robot container that doesn't have any place to be put on. I have placed the spear, the angel and stuff, but I can get the goddamn legs and arms of the Eva in the same position. Good luck doing it yourselves.